All right, so this video is going to show you how to keep your GoDaddy email, uh, webmail with GoDaddy at the same time um, hosting your website at another web host. And I'm actually going to use uh, masswebhost.com as the web host example. And it's just a regular cPanel, um, pretty much the same exact cPanel you would see if you were to log into a HostGator cPanel. Uh, so let's get started by logging into your GoDaddy account. Um, I'm actually already logged in, so I'm just going to go to, uh, let's see here, manage, manage my domains. GoDaddy's interface is always changing. So manage my domain is here. So I'm actually going to do uh, my website here, uh, niverthedesigner.com. And you're just going to go ahead and click. Actually, better yet, you can go right up here. You're going to see domains, hosting, and email. Go ahead and click email. Now, I actually already have a uh, workspace uh, GoDaddy email associated with this domain name with the email info at niverthedesigner.com. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the cPanel for niverthedesigner.com. Go ahead and log in. Okay. So in your case, this would be your web host, cPanel. This would be GoDaddy. So you want to keep your email with GoDaddy and host with another, uh, another web host. What you're going to do is click here on GoDaddy, go to Tools, and then go to Server Settings. You're going to see these two addresses right here, smtp.secureserver.net and mail store one with a priority of zero right here and a priority of ten. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the web host right here in the C panel click on MX entry select my domain alright so as you can see there's no MX records so right now info at Niver the designer is down so what we're going to do is we're going to add the MX records by highlighting this, copy. Destination is going to go here with a priority of zero. Add record. And I'm going to explain exactly what happens after I'm done. So it's going to pop up down here as added. Add the second one, copy, paste with a priority of zero, uh, 10. Add new record. And up here, you'll see where it says automatically detect configuration. You can see right now, the server knows that it's um, in a remote location. And that re remote location is GoDaddy. So I'm going to hit close. Um, you'd actually have to wait for the uh, MX records to propagate. Um, it can take anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour or so. So what happens now? Um, after the name server, uh, the MX records propagate, if somebody tries to send an email to knifeofthedesigner.com, this address, the server's going to take that information and go, oh, nope, it doesn't go here. We're going to have to route it here. And then GoDaddy receives the email, which will go into your um, launch space, obviously, in your inbox. And that is how to keep your uh, web. Um, webmail email with GoDaddy and host elsewhere such as HostGator. Thanks for watching.